YouTube, before I start this video, um, I want to share with you guys that I went to I went to LA today, and there were a couple of skits that I made a couple of little mistakes. Um, I got some names wrong, and I got some areas that I'm really unsure about. And I have I once I unsaid what I said. I'm well, actually, I'm overlooking. I was overlooking the video before I posted. Now I have no way of editing out what I said. Um, most of my video, matter of fact, all of my videos is pretty much whatever I said. I said it. I, I it's pretty much no editing, and I'm I don't know how to go back and change nothing and put the right words with it or none of that. So what you see is pretty much how I go about my day and what you get. But there were something like I give you an example. I went through a, a spot in LA where I don't where I said I was on Crenshaw, and it's a scene in the movie of Boys in the Hood that I said that I think I was at. I'm not a hundred percent sure if where I was at on Crenshaw is where the actually movie fit was filmed at. I'm not a hundred percent sure of that. And a couple of a couple of names I got wrong in some of the skits as far as because what I, what I did today, I went to certain places that was in scenes of movies and I got a couple of names wrong. And once you watch the video, you know, you will see exactly what I'm talking about. But just please forgive me on that. And um, I just wanted to let you guys know that. But uh, hope you enjoyed the video. YouTube, YouTube, good morning, good morning. What's happening with you? It's currently uh, March 22nd. I'm my first night, is, I'm my first day actually in San Diego. Um, it's a, it's seven, 7 o'clock in the morning. Now, if you follow me and you watched my video last night, I was telling you that uh, I may get up and go to LA. I was told that I'm two and a half, it was a two and a half my, uh, hour drive from where I'm at to LA. So I think that that's exactly what I what I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go find me a gym. The place that I'm staying at currently, it doesn't have a gym in it, and I gotta go work arms. I'm not gonna do any running today. I'm um tomorrow morning I get up and do a couple of miles. But the, the day I'm gonna just go get me a little I ain't even gonna be in there no longer than 30 minutes. Just long enough to get me a little um get me a couple of exercises on my biceps and triceps and my forearms. I didn't tell you guys this a um, couple of weeks ago. Me and my, me and one of my sons were bowling, and I I don't know if I torn something or anything, but from here, from right here to right here, it's kind of it, it's bothering me. It hurts a little bit, to be honest with you, and um, it's easing up now. And last week, last week is and last week I took. Matter of fact, I think if I remember, yeah, last week I took all week off. Last week I took all week off. I didn't even do any like, um, any exercise. I mean, uh, lift, lift anyways. I didn't lift anyways last week because I wanted this to heal. And I, I and like doing this right here, you still feel it. And today I'm gonna just go in there and do some light weights. Just to get some uh, get a blood flow through it, I'm not gonna like it's not gonna be nothing heavy like I used to do. I'm gonna just curl it, you know, just enough, just well, just this side, especially this side, just enough to um, you know, to get the blood flowing, as opposed to doing nothing. I done rest it, and um, like I said, I feel it just a little bit, but not not as bad as it was. And um, I just noticed like one night that day, me and my son were bowling. The next morning, I got up and I started feeling it. And at first, I was ignoring it. And this is something that I suggest that none of you guys do, man. If if you're hurting, go see a doctor or, or um, you know, rest it. Don't ignore it. Don't ignore it. My dumb ass, I went to still ignoring it and still working it as if it wasn't even hurting. And then it started getting worse. And what I did was I just said, you know what, let me take let me take a few days off. Let me rest the arm or whatever. And after that, even it, it, it's still I still feel it a little bit, but not as bad as I was. So it, it's obviously healing. So um, and I'm telling y'all to go to the doctor, and I didn't go to the doctor. What, what type of foolishness is that? But I just I mean, um, as of now, it's healing, and I'm not gonna go in there and do nothing crazy. 
and just let's see. Maybe I, I'm thinking maybe I just pulled a muscle or something. I, I don't know, but um, I, I I wouldn't I wouldn't force it. My personal from I mean, and I'm hard headed. I, I I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm hard headed. That doctor probably would have told me the same thing that I actually done, but I I would have had to test it myself to see, you know. If the doctor know what he's talking about, and that's just that's just my character, to be honest with you. But um, anyway, I'm gonna go in there and just lift real light, lift some real light weights. Go to L.A. My plan is to, I want to see where they film the movie Friday, and I want to see where they film Boys in the Hood, Minister to Society. I, I want to just ride through the hoods and, and and see, you know, if any of those buildings still there. Those movies I'm telling you about, that's movies when I came up and. They probably done reconstruct, re, reconstructed the area. I don't know. I'm going to find out. And just, you know, just go kick it in L.A., man. Give me something to eat. And, uh, of course, I'm going to carry you guys with me. That's what the plan is. It does, you know, that's what I plan on doing. So, I'm gonna get, and I'm going to carry you guys with me. First, like I said, first, get dressed, go to the gym. And from what I understand, not what I understand, I was in the lobby when I was getting this coffee. I'm drinking coffee, straight black, no sugar, no cream, none of that. Straight black coffee. But um, from what I was, I was listening to the weather report. The weatherman said it's supposed to rain all today and tomorrow here in uh, San Diego. I hope it don't do that. I hope it's not doing that in LA. I hope not. Um, but if it is, whatever. I'm still going. I'm gonna ride down there. Like I said, it's just a two and a half mile ride. I mean, two and a half hour. Two and a half hour ride, just ride down there and, and see what I can see, man. Um, somebody was telling me about, I, well, I, I seen it on a couple of movies, telling me about this, this spot called Roscoe Chicken and Waffles. Might go check that out, you know. Like I said, just come, just, just kick it in L.A., man. Kick it in L.A. Y'all can come, y'all, man, I'm going to bring y'all along. So, uh, let me get, let me get, uh, let me get myself together to go to the gym and I'll get with y'all in a little while. Don't know a nigga like myself. I say self-made, meaning I design myself. County jail fade, you can pull my foul yourself. Spy rage, swallow rocks, I'm getting high myself. Nah, damn right I like the life I built. I'm from West Side 60, shit, I might got killed. Standing so tall, they think I might got stills. Legendary baller like Mike, like Will. 96 Impala, thug life on wheels. Up against the wall, squabble at Fox Hills. Like a motherfucking boss, ask me how I feel. Successful street nigga. All right, guys, just got finished. Got me a good little arm pump. The video that I that you just looked at, um, I did six sets of each exercise. I did 20 reps. Six sets, 20 reps of each one of those exercises, like I said. And then I went light as, just light enough to know I got something on my, you know, in my hand. Just light enough to know I got something in my hand. It wasn't no heavy workout, just real light. Like I told you, I'm having some forearm issues. And um, I didn't want to aggravate it any more than what it really is. As a matter of fact, the when I went to work in my forearms on that on that uh on that bar, when I worked my forearms on the bar on the barbell, I I really it, it kicked in. So I did I only did like two sets of that. The forearm on the bar. If you looked at the video, you know what I'm talking about. And um, of course I had you know did did a what. Five, six sets of the ab, you know, the ab exercise, and that, that was it. And um, while I got you, I'm going to put you up on game a little bit. If anybody's a crunch fitness member and you visit in any of these cities and want to go get your workout in, um, I advise you to bring your your keypad, your keychain thing that you use to, to scan in. I keep forgetting to do it, but for, for whatever reason, when you go to these different places, they um they don't have you in the system so you have to have that keychain I, I i don't i don't understand i don't understand because when i first joined my reason for joining crunch is so when i travel i can go to a gym it's like a you know it's all it's supposed to be a franchise but for whatever reason they cannot pull you up when you know by just your name it, i mean and then they use then they want to charge you i think they charge you ten dollars to get in I mean, you know, $10 just to work out. This particular young lady, 
she decided she said she's not gonna charge she told me don't even worry about it but some people will charge you i this happened to me in texas one time when i was in texas um the guy the guy charged me he, he charged me to and i keep forgetting to leave my i made mean, to bring my um keychain i mean my little it's a little badge that you put on your key ring so um just for fyi if if you if you traveling and you want to go work out when you're out of town and I know that most of these, most of these, most of these, uh, some of these hotels have gyms in them, but they don't, they don't be nothing. Um, and if you want to just come to, you know, like a crunch fitness, you want to come work out, get you a good workout in. I know a lot of people go on vacations and they on vacation. They ain't thinking about no working out, but just some FYI, just in case you happen to care. But I'm about to go and take me a shower and I'm going to hit LA, baby. Let's go. All right, guys, I done touched down in L.A. It's time for me to eat. Now, I'm going to check out the spot, Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. A lot of people recommend it, so let me go check this out, babe. All right, guys, this is what I decided to get. I just got some uh, two thighs and three legs. Uh, some fried legs and thighs. Let's see what they taste like. Tastes all right. It's just it's not southern. Okay. If anybody from the south, y'all know what I'm talking about. That southern fried chicken ain't nothing like it. But it'll do. It'll do. I'm gonna eat this and uh, see what's going on in y'all uh, LA. Get with y'all in a minute. All right, guys. I got tired of uh, riding, man. So now I just got out the car, walk. This stretched my legs out a little bit. Um, right now I'm at uh, right here in front of 59th Street. 59th Street Elementary School. And I'm just walking through the neighborhood, man. And um, I Googled what I did. I Googled where Nipsey Hustle grew up, and the Google brought me here. But I, I just don't. I don't believe them. They got some kind of memorial place for him. I'm gonna try to find that. But right now, I was just want to just get out and just walk around. That was like I said, a two hour. I did it in two hours. A two hour uh, drive from San Diego to uh, Los Angeles. And um, I stopped at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffle. Let me give you another, another uh, take. My take on uh, on that. It, it it wasn't it wasn't that. I would I don't have to go back. It's kind of overrated. I heard about Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles probably watching a movie that I could think of, and and somebody uh, told me to go there. I'm but you got to look at look at it from my point of view. I eat. The leg, I mean, the, I eat like southern fried chicken, and that chicken kind of tastes like it wasn't even the food wasn't even seasoned right or none of that. They, I don't think they they don't they don't know nothing about southern fried chicken. Now, if there's somebody from this place and used to eating that, they probably love it. But I don't I don't have to eat that again. And the waffles the waffles look good. I seen somebody. I see the person next to me was sitting next to me ordered some waffles. It looked good, but I'm not eating waffles right now. So, but um, yeah, that's just that's just. But I'm not. I, I mean, I've had like southern fried chicken, and I said this earlier. If if you from the south and you had southern fried chicken, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so I wasn't impressed, but uh. I guess I'm I'm in front of this school, 59th Street Elementary School. I just want to walk around and stretch my legs out a little bit, cause when you're sitting in the car, you get you you get a little cramped up. So I'm gonna just um, I'm gonna show you these houses in the neighborhood, and then I'm gonna go I'm gonna go find out. I told you I want to find out where they film that movie Friday, and um, I wanted. I'm gonna check out. I mean, well, I Google where Nipsey Hussle was from. I've heard a lot of good things about Nipsey Hussle. I didn't know who he was until he died. To be honest with you, that I didn't know who Nipsey Hussle was until he died. And then I just been hearing a lot of positive things. You know how he loved the community and things like that. So I wanted to see. They got some kind of said they had some kind of memorial or something about him. Some kind of little place area for him. This this in memory of him. And when I Googled it, it brought me here. You know how Google is, so. But uh, let me show you this neighborhood I'm in. And like I said, I'm just walking around and scratching my legs out a little bit. These are the houses look. I don't know who houses these are. It's like a 
small little gap between where they, you know, the houses. I bet a house like this, I bet a house like this costs about a million dollars. But look like this, in this neighborhood I'm at, look like they, you know, they pretty much care about the neighborhood. It's pretty clean. Look like they take care of they, you know, they take care of their neighborhood or whatever. This is 59, it's called 59th Street Elementary School. That's the school. But yeah, at this moment, I'm right here on 59th Street. 59th Street in, in Los Angeles. Um, I, from what I understand, I'm not far from Crenshaw. But like I said, I'm gonna I'm get out, I'm gonna go and uh, ride some other places, but I just need to, like I said, I just need to scratch out a little bit, man. I'm a little sore. Wait, like I said, with me, when I sit down for a long time, I get a little sore, so. Just walking it off, baby. And just showing y'all this neighborhood a little bit. The neighborhood I'm in. Like I said, this area, man, is pretty clean, though, man. Like, they seem to, like I said, take care of they, take care of their investment. Yeah, that's enough of that right now. But like I said, give me a second. I'm going to show y'all some more. Give me a minute. Man, that's some nice artwork right there. I like that. Some nice artwork. All right, guys, I'm back in the car. Heading to Crenshaw Boulevard. All right, guys, currently I'm on the street, Crenshaw Boulevard. I ride down this strip. Um, I can't pinpoint exactly. I remember this street years ago when um, I was watching that movie, Boys in the Hood. And um, if you remember the movie, they was talking, um, the character Ice Cube played Doughboy and his brother Ricky, they came on Crenshaw and they got into it with some guys. I don't know exactly, can't pinpoint exactly where the place was at. This is a real long street. And um, it, that's, according to the movie I, the movie I seen, the, they hang out, they, everybody used to hang out on the street at night. And um, you know, that's just they little, the little spot they used to hang out at, on this street here, according to, according to the, what the movie was. and. Uh, Doughboy got, I mean, well, Ricky got into it with some guys, him and his homeboy got, in, got into it with some guys and his brother intervened and you have to watch the movie to know what I'm talking about. If, I mean, I'm pretty sure, you know, if you right in, in your forties, you, re, you remember it, but, um, to make the long story short, I'm on the, uh, on Crenshaw and this is what everybody used to hang out at. I don't know if they still do or not. Um, I just, for, for my purposes, I just wanted to ride on Crenshaw just to say I rode Crenshaw. And um, like I said, this is a long street. As far as that place, I was telling you about a memory of Nipsey Hustle. I couldn't find it. Um, I tried Googling and and to keep let's keep in mind, keep this in mind, y'all. I am not phone savvy at all. I'm learning. Well, well, I would say learning, but I ain't really applying myself like I should. I ain't even gonna lie. As far as this phone and the technology and all that foolishness, I really, I'm not applying myself like I should, but as of now, I'm kind of, you know, kind of green as far as, you know, learning this phone and Googling all kind of stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm really not the best at it, but I tried to um, find where Nipsey, you know, Nipsey Hustle, they, they say they got some kind of memorial or something whatever I, I couldn't find it so what i did was you know after i stretched my legs out i i google uh crenshaw and, th and right now i'm on crenshaw boulevard so i'm gonna just ride this street here and then i'm gonna go look for something else that i you know i said i wanted to check out while i was here um yeah but like i said right now i'm on crenshaw and i'm i'm enjoying the city of of la and, and this is what i like to do just at this moment i just like you know ride around and seeing the city and seeing what you know seeing what it's about 
Um, I noticed they they know. I know if you any if you familiar with Atlanta, how Atlanta has Waffle Houses, they know for they restaurant called uh, Jack in the Box. It's like a fast food restaurant, I guess. I guess just Jack in the Box. From what I see, they sell hamburgers. They good for hamburgers, and just like uh, Atlanta got Waffle House, they got a Jack in the Box almost everywhere. From what I see, so I seen a bunch of Jack in the Boxes. But uh. Like I said, yeah, like I said, I'm on Crenshaw. And um let me uh let me get somewhere else and then I'll give you some more give you another part of the tour of LA. This is a little spot I was telling you about as far as the memories of Nipsey Hustle. It's closed right now. Um I I I found it, but uh the place is closed right now. But this is it's a um, barber shop, it looked like a, a clothing store. And this is his, you know, this is the neighborhood he's from. Right here, I'm on the corner of Crenshaw and Slauson Boulevard. I wish I could have got in there, fellas, but uh, the place is closed right this minute. Damn, boy, I hate these clothes. I mean, but, oh well, um, let me go find something else. But yeah, this is the area um, that guy Nipsey Hussle is from. This is old stomping grounds. Rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle. Remember I was telling y'all earlier about Jack in the Box? Like I said, they all over the place. They go one right there. Ladies and gents, I'm on the street that they filmed that movie Friday on. I found it. I'm about to walk up to the house right now. It looks like it looks like they selling something. I don't know. I'm about to come up here. I'm about to go up here right now and see what's going on. But the house that they filmed the movie Friday on. If you ain't never seen the movie Friday, you must have been up under a rock somewhere. And I'm you talking to somebody. I'm talking to I'm I'm the person that don't hardly ever watch TV. And I done seen Friday, so. But the further the movie uh Friday with uh Chris Tucker and Ice Cube, Smokey and Dede. I'm about to show you the house that they actually uh, filmed the movie on. Give me just a second. Let me walk up now. There you go. They go to sign to prove it. How y'all doing? They're selling shirts and hats and. Cool, man. I'm from Savannah, Georgia, man. Yeah, I'm from Georgia, yeah. Oh, this the bike Debo was on? Oh, man, this the bike Debo was on? Cool, man. This is dope. How much your shirts? All the shirts are Selling shirts. They sell the hats. I got to get me a shirt. Let me ask you something. Where the house at um, Smokey stayed at? The yellow house across the street. We'll go over there in just a second. Let me um, let me talk to these cats real quick, and I'll get back with y'all in a minute. Yeah, man, that was pretty dope. I took a bunch of pictures. I bought a shirt from them. Like I say, shout out to them, man. Um, and I they told me where Smoky House was at, and I'm about to show you with exactly where where it's at. But say those folks were the people that lived at this house that I was at that live in Smoky House. They said that um. I mean, not Smokey, a day-day house, say those folks are not as friendly and they don't, you know, they don't, they don't do the publicity thing. But I will show you, um, show you the house. <laughs> and the funny thing, right this moment, I hear, I hear ice cream truck. I, I want a big worm in it. <laughs> Hold on, let me show you, let me show you Smokey House. That's Smokey House right there. That's where they film Smokey House. In this Stanley house, y'all better stay off his freaking grass. Well, Stanley house. I don't know what that's about, that picture on the um on the porch. And let me let me turn the phone around and get show you Miss Parker House. And that's Miss Parker House. And this is the liquor store. Yeah, they filmed the movie Friday and they filmed the movie. This the this the liquor store, the scene where Ezel act like he fell in the um 
in the store. Hey, like he was gonna sue him. This is the liquor store right here. I'm pretty sure they reconstructed a lot of stuff. I haven't seen the movie in a long time, but I'm pretty sure it don't look the same. But yeah, this is the liquor store that they filmed it in. All right, guys, I'll get with y'all in a minute. Hey guys, this is, uh, I guess, the Staples Center Crypt, Crypt, Crypto Calm Arena. This is where the Lakers play their games at. Um, according to what it's looking like, the Lakers must be got a game tonight. I haven't been following up with basketball too much, but this is where the Lakers play their games at. LA is a beautiful place, man. Look at this here, man. Wow. This is, uh, I guess it's downtown LA. In 600 feet, make a U-turn. Let me make a quick correction. I did not mean to say Staples Center. I don't know where I get Staples Center from. I guess I guess the Lakers used to play in an arena called Staples Center. I'm, I'm not sure, but what I, the building I just showed you, that's where the Lakers play their games at. And yes, I am correct. I, the, the Lakers have a game tonight, and, um, and that's where everybody's going to the game. So, Crypto Calm Arena. It's time for me to get me something to eat. I'm going to get me something to eat, and then I'm going to head back to San Diego. Um, I got a taste for some, I got a taste for some barbecue and I'm going to see if I can find some barbecue down here. Let me go find something. I'll get with y'all in a minute. All right, guys, let's see if this seafood any good. Let's see if they got some sea, good seafood like they do in Savannah. Well, guys, I ordered some fish and shrimp and um, they gave me more than what I thought I was going to get. They gave me two plates. It's just some fish and shrimp. Um, I, I, I doubt if I'm gonna eat all this, but uh, let me taste the shrimp. It's okay. It's okay. Let me see. It'll do. Like I said, this is a lot of food. I doubt if I'm gonna eat all this, but I'm, I'm gonna get enough. I'll get with y'all in a minute. All right, guys, that's it for me. Um, had a nice time in LA, back at the hotel, about to take me a shower and call it a night and see what tomorrow brings. So, thank y'all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. I'm AC, aka Scooby, and I'm out. Y'all be easy.